Fala galera, trazendo mais um vídeo para o canal Aqui quem está falando é o Breno E trazendo a sétima parte de Splinter Cell Conviction E galera, no vídeo anterior Entramos no la laboratório Witbox Matamos uns guardas Invadimos o computador do Robertson E agora estamos indo até o líder deles E para você que ainda não é inscrito no meu canal Eu peço para você se inscrever Clicando no botãozinho vermelho, porque eu trago conteúdos legais de gameplay. Deixe seu gostei e ative o sininho para não perder nenhum vídeo, ok? Ah, mano, até ela ficou tremendo. Eu fui logo pra cima dos caras. A burrice foi minha. De novo. <risos> Agora sim Agora vamos ter que escapar. Ah, o cara tá, tá de capacete. I think I'm done here, Grim. Maybe I'll go look for this Galliard everyone's talking about. Lucius Galliard? You know him? Not directly, but 
Eu saí de fininho. How did Sam get on site of the Lincoln Memorial? Easy. Secret Service acting on orders from the President got him there. Why'd they do that? Oh, that's a little trickier. You see, the name Lucius Gallier got Grimm's attention. She knew he was a businessman Reed was working with. But Reed kept things compartmentalized, and that was one of the aspects of his operation Grimm had no access to. It pissed her off. What Grimm did know was that Reed was meeting Galliard at the memorial in the morning, right after some bullshit photo op speech the VP was given. Galliard's people were handling event logistics, which was why he'd be there. Grimm took it to the president, who didn't like the coincidence. She wanted to know what they were talking about, and that meant getting Sam on site for audio surveillance. And more, if necessary. I'm inside. What now? The president's on the line, Sam. We need to eavesdrop on okay. the conversation reads about Estamos the aqui no Memorial Lincoln. We thought of that, Mr. Fisher. Galliard's people scrubbed the site in preparation for my vice president's charming little speech. And there was no time to get new equipment in place. And what's plan B? You are. This morning's camera equipment is still in place. Get to the control booth, pack the camera controls to record the conversation, and uplink the feed to us. Just like that. All right, I'm on it. Speech? Yeah. In the camera booth. Now what? You need to sync the feed from the console to me so that I can see what we're getting. It should be easy to hack. Hang on. That's it. Now I need you to get comfortable with those camera controls. We're dealing with directional mics here, high end, but they're integrated with the camera focus. Get Reed and Galliard in the shot, and we'll get the audio. Miss them, and we get nothing. And here they come. Now. Lucius, I'm glad Beleza. É, por enquanto, a gente vai usar as câmeras para ouvir a conversa desses dois. Aí depois vamos interrogar o Lucius, que é esse cara que está do lado esquerdo. Which includes Black Arrow, which I assume is what you want to talk about. We can talk about Black Arrow shortcomings later. I want to talk about what I need to make this go off smoothly. Oh. Do you now? I was impressed that he said that. What did you think of Samson's speech? It was a nice piece of grandstanding. He should give his writers a raise. He swears he writes all his speeches. I'm sure it plays well for the folks back home. I don't like the chances. You don't like Samson? I don't like Samson. But... If you had a better tool, I'd be using it. Which is, incidentally, something you should keep in mind. My, my, are you actually threatening me? I thought we were both more civilized than that. This is what your people want. The people I represent want you to deal with Fisher. Stop wasting time. Stop wasting their money. If Megiddo's getting cold feet... Let, let me make this clear, Reed. Megiddo planned this operation. Megiddo paid for this operation. And Megiddo would be very upset if anyone were allowed to interfere with it. He's not going to interfere because my men will deal with him, since Black Arrow wasn't able to. I'll worry about Black Arrow. 
You stick to the plan. Like I was saying, it's interesting that you chose this place to meet, of all places. And why would you say that? The eyes of history are upon us. And we will be making history. Make no mistake about that. I'd rather keep our part in things out of the history books. Thank you. Really? I thought you enjoyed the spotlight more than that. I'll do the song and dance when I have to, but the man on stage is the one with the least cover. And cover's important, especially at a time like this. Which would explain why you're still here. Executive oversight. I hate leaving things to chance, or third party. You're supposed to be in Paris. All hell's about to break loose. My men will be very busy. So I cannot guarantee your safety. I'm not asking you to. Are you sure? This is to protect you and the operation. Some things require a personal touch. Now, if that's everything, we're done here. I'll see you when it's over. Goodbye, Lucius. Let's go after Reed. No, the smart play is to talk to Galliard. We can find Reed later. I concur. I want to know more about Megiddo, and Lucius Galliard is the only source we have. Okay, go. I'll freeze Galliard in place. No problem, right, man? Galliard. Mr. Galliard, my name is Anna Grimm's daughter. I'm calling on behalf of Tom Reed at Third Echelon. I know who you are. I just finished talking with your boss. What does Reed want now? Director Reed felt that the resolution that you two came to probably wasn't... You really shouldn't talk to Grimm like that. Guards! Where the hell are my guards? It's just you and me, Lucius. Let's talk. What's your connection with Reed? If you ask nicely, I tell you. And he's just hired help. God, you're thick. This is bigger than Reed, bigger than Third Echelon. They're just convenient. Then why does Reed want you out of town? Ugh. Your enhanced interrogation techniques oh. need work. Nossa Senhora! He wants to run the show when the EMPs are triggered. There's three of them scattered around the city. In a few hours, they go off, and he gets to play commando. There are people he wants to impress. <laughs> the EMPs, where do I find them? Say please. Ai, meu ovo. I don't know. That's part of the plan. You see? You can't stop it, Fisher. It's too big. It's too late. And the people I work for? This is just part of what they've got going on. Megiddo. Who are they? Try harder, Fisher. Megiddo. Who are they? They're the ones who run this town. In Moscow, in Beijing, in any other place that matters. <laughs> They're the ones who are going to get me out of this in one piece. And once Reed is finished at the white... Ah! That's all Reed. Damn. Officer in trouble! Sam, what's happening? Galliard's dead. The shooter's running. We need him alive. He may be our only link between Third Echelon and Megiddo. I've got a visual. He's on the stage. Galera, se estiverem gostando do vídeo, não se esqueçam de deixar o seu gostei, beleza?
point dead ahead. The large tent front ducked into the O que? Que é isso? O, o cara é um ninja, é? Ok, aí vai chegar mais policiais. Eita! Quase que o cara me viu. for 
you, Fisher! Stop hiding! No one can find you sooner or later! Find a hostile! Come in! Still no visual of a contact. Can anyone advise? Fica parado. Aê. Ainda tem mais? Ah, não. É a nossa fuga. Shows you how much Sam changed that he would even think about going after Third Echelon. Essa parte aí vai ser difícil. But now, here he was, ready to rip the guts out of the beast. The building's weakness was in the power supply. The main feed and primary backup ran through the basement parking garage. With a little C4 in the right places, Sam could cut the power to the building long enough to slip inside Third Echelon. That was good enough for Sam. He was going in, and he wanted them to know he was coming. Sam, are you in the garage? I smell like a spare tire. It was the best way. Now I need you to use the C4 you packed to take out the building's primary and secondary transformers. Do it simultaneously when you reach the front desk, and you'll have a short window before the emergency power puts security back online. They're both on the parking level, right? Right, but in two separate rooms. And don't be seen or they're gonna seal the security doors and you're done. And don't give those surveillance cameras a show. Galera, eu vou encerrar o vídeo aqui e na próxima continuaremos na oitava parte, ok? Não se esqueçam de se inscrever e deixar o seu gostei, beleza? Valeu e falou!